Hi gang, happy Thursday. It's a beautiful day today, the sun is shining. I hope you're outside enjoying this weather in your backyard. Um, today we are going to draw a dog. Uh, very easy, very simple. Um, I know I challenged you on Friday, or I mean Tuesday, um, with the dragon and you all did such a good job. Um, so we're gonna do an easy dog today. Um, and I think it's, it's going to be fun. Um, it's a golden doodle cause I do have a golden doodle. His name is Art. Um, and he's my baby. He's my pride and joy. So, um, I am going to, uh, set up here. I'm in my kitchen today and I'm going to flip around and I think we still might have a few minutes but I know you guys are logging on, so I don't really want to log off now that I see all of you um, getting on. So I'm just going to talk a few minutes. Um, I want you to know that uh, the past three weeks, every class I have chosen winners for, and I will have those up on my website. Starting next week, I'm going to be doing some different things. I'm going to be um, actually breaking it down into age groups. So like I do at my studio. So the three to six year olds will have their own class and the seven and up will have their own class. So I can get a little bit more detailed with the older ones and the younger ones. We can keep it simple and, um, and fun and, and not frustrating. Although I did really enjoy your dragons. Um, and, and seeing you, you all did a fantastic job. So I love pushing you. I love um, giving you a little bit more each and every time. Um, that's what I'm here for. So, um, but okay. So what I'm going to do is, again, we're going to do the dog. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to set up uh, my camera. And we're going to start... Um, in like two minutes okay okay so I gotta flip it around so bear with me here Yeah, that's much better. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. Okay, so what you need for this today is, first we're going to do the pencil. We're going to do it in pencil. So we'll need to pick up our pencil and our eraser. We're going to use our crayons and our markers. Um, we're going to use our markers to outline. We're going to use our crayons to do the blend and the dog hair and get him really shaggy. Um, a golden doodle is very, very shaggy. Uh, so it's, this is gonna be fun, okay? So let's pick up a pencil and let's make sure we have our eraser. We're gonna put our um, paper the long way today. Spin mine around here. sketchbook okay all right let me check one more time make sure we're good okay so again we are doing the golden doodle for those of you that just chimed in we're doing a dog today a golden doodle dog um art doodle is what i call mine Artie. um and um we're going to start with our simple guidelines now I'm going to make my lines a little darker than normal, but I want you to remember to keep yours nice and light 
um, so that you can erase, okay? So, you have your paper, the portrait weight, we're up and down, right? We're gonna make, right in the middle of our paper, we're going to make a very easy, simple U shape, okay? And like I said, these are guidelines. So remember, keep it nice and light. Now, don't make the U too big because this is gonna be his head. So remember that the ears are gonna come out around. So you have to make sure you still have enough room. But this is the gut, this is the nice and light lines for right now. Okay. Can you see that? Yes, you can. For those of you chiming in, we're doing a dog today, Golden Doodle Dog, um, and we're starting with the head, okay? All right, so now that we have the head, okay? Now we're gonna go above the U shape. We're gonna make a curved line and then we're gonna take that all the way and we're gonna come up all the way around. Curve line, all the way around. Okay, very simple. Keep it nice and light. Remember, I'm doing it a little bit darker for you to see, but I want you to keep this nice and light because we are eventually going to erase these lines. Okay? And then for the guide, we're gonna come down, curve lines on each side for his body, okay? So pretty, pretty simple. Okay, so now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna give him his big nose, okay? And it's very easy. He's going to have a big nose and it's going to be big and round and it's going to be an oval shape. Okay. We're going to start with that big oval shape. Now, right underneath our oval, that's for the nose, we're gonna make a little heel, like a little bump right there. And then we're very lightly going to go down and up, come down and up, like a wave, okay? See that motion? Up, down, up, down and up. Okay, now remember, all these lines are not gonna be here. These are just guidelines to map out where everything is going to be. And then, very lightly, once again, we're gonna put circle for his eye, circle for his eye, okay? Okay, now here comes the fun part. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this line that we have here and we're gonna start to give him some shaggy hair. So with the, your pencil, I want you to go out and back in and give him some shaggy hair. Like lightning strike. Out in, out in, out in, out in, out in. All the way around. Out in, out in. Okay? And then, while you're working on that, that line that I told you we had, I'm gonna take that line away. All right, so work 
on your hair. Let me give you a few minutes here. Shaggy. Now, we're also going to give him some shag here. Okay. What do you think? And then you can erase. Right underneath where his nose is. I want you to go down, up, down, up, down, up. Give him a few shaggy for his beard. And I know that my golden doodle is so shaggy. He is desperate for a grooming. But right now, what can you do? So, he's my fur, fur ball right now. And then we're gonna go up around there too. So we're doing a lot of just very simple, very free, shaggy pencil lines right now. And then his chin again, gonna be shaggy. So give him a little bit of that chin and then erase that line right there. So again, down up, down up, with a little bit of a curve, like lightning. nose still which is good okay so now we've got his eyes and what we're gonna do next is there are two ways that you can do this you can do his eyes so we have two round and then remember, I'm gonna make a circle inside that, okay? And then another baby circle right there. And then that middle circle is gonna be black, but Look at him, oh my goodness. Um, I probably hear him now. He is barking. They are so wanting to just be outside all day for this. Okay, so we've got the two eyes. If you wanted to give him some eyebrows, you could. Shaggy little eyebrows. Oh, he's, he's looking cute now, yeah he is. And I think we need to give him a collar too. So let's make him a collar. So let's do a half a circle down here. And 
And then another half circle here for his collar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a backward C. We're going to make a backward C. And we're going to make another backward C. And like the moon shape, almost like the crescent of the moon. And then you can do a couple different things with your dog tag. You can make um, a big circle if you wanted to. And put his name in it. You can also, oh geez, sorry. Um, you can also, hold on here. You can also make a dog, or a, a dog bone. So, if you wanted to do a dog bone, make two straight lines. Okay. And then, make two circles beside that, circle, circle, and then you're going to then erase that inside part and you've got your bone. And then you can write Party, or whatever your dog's name is or want your dog's name to be, okay? If you do a circle, you can give it a little, another little circle in the middle of that. And then I can write A. Art. And look, gang, we have a dog. How exciting is that? Woohoo! Okay. So, how we doing? We okay? I'm gonna um, bring the camera down for a second and see if you have any questions. I'm so glad you're having a good time. <laughs> good, I'm glad all of you are watching and having a good time. All right. Awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So, now, we've got the dog. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad you're with me. Um, so, we have, we have Artie here. And now, it's time to color him. So, what we're going to do is, you see, you can do your dog normal colors, like, a brown dog, a white dog, a black dog, um, a cat, you know, like a um, golden or whatever color you want. Or, as I'm going to show you and do a little funky things, you can make him crazy color, tie-dyed, all different colors, okay? So, the blend that we have been doing um, for the past few weeks now, we're going to do again today. So, let me, hold on, and Amazon still hasn't delivered my camera yet, but that's okay, because we got the beats. Okay, all right, so now, here's what we're going to do. First, we are going to pick up our black marker. Or you can use black or brown. I, for some reason, I have my black here. What did I do with it? Hold on. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, again, I have my black marker. And what I'm going to do is, 
I'm gonna go over the lines that I made around the dog, his hair, his shaggy hair here. So take a few minutes and put that shagginess in with your Then I'm gonna go down the side of his body on both sides and give him some shag. And then I'm just gonna do a few little spots inside. And if you want to do that, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Okay, and then while I have my black out, let's outline his eyes. So we're going to outline a, a big circle. And then we're going to outline, or um, not, yeah, outline the inside circle. And then this little baby circle, remember, the baby circle won't see thin white. And we can color in then that middle circle right there. In that one white. Oh, he looks cute. And then the nose is totally up to you. If you want to give him a black nose, you can. If you want to give him a pink nose, you can. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to give mine a pink nose. He has a black nose, but. Then let's decide before we do the job what color you want to make his collar. So whatever color you want to make his collar, let's now my already has a purple collar right now. It's very dark purple. So I'm gonna get a purple here. My collar. And I'm going to color it in. And I'm going to use my marker for this. Remember when you're coloring with your marker to go in the direction that your object is going in. So mine's going this way. So I'm going with, with the lines, with the movement. Nice and steady, nice and solid. When you're working with your marker, take your time. And 
And then you also have to decide what color you want to make your dog tag. So, I think I'm gonna stick with purple. Shocking, I know. And I'm gonna outline my dog tag. And I'm gonna outline the inner circle that I had here. I'm gonna color this part in. trace over my lines here. They are T art. Artie my boy. Then I'm gonna get my purple. I'm just gonna lightly go over that. Little tag in. Woohoo! What are we thinking? Are we liking this? I know I am. I hope you are. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to start to color him in. So we're going to start with around his nose, his, his um, mouth area, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick, now he's a boy, I know. So I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna start with my blues and watch me first, okay? So as you can see, I'm still going in this direction. How my hair is flowing is the direction that I am going to make my lines, okay? So I'm gonna go out and in and out and in. And I'm still going to stick and be shaggy with it. Okay. Just come around here. Come down. And you might even want to, watch this gang, move your whole arm instead of just your wrist. Move your whole arm and get that movement in there. Feel that movement. Feel the movement of, the, of those lines. And then I'm going to go a little bit underneath. Now the lines that you made, okay, don't have to know, you don't have to stay in those lines when you're coloring, okay, because that's just shagginess. And then I'm going to get my green and I'm going to go back over in the places where I have white. I'm going to put some green in there. Oh my goodness. He's gonna be one cold dude. Okay. Oh, look how cute he is. Okay, now from there, I'm going to come out and up between his eyes take it underneath his eyes and then back down here okay and then I'm gonna do some blue now remember when you're shading or I mean not shading blending you're gonna go over that green a little bit. You're gonna mix those two together. Okay. 
And remember, this works for any color, so you do not have to use the blue and the um, the blue and the green. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up my purple here, and I'm gonna throw in some purple again, going in that same direction, whatever direction your hair is going in, that's the direction you want your lines to go back and forth, okay? And go over some of that blue. hit a little bit underneath his chin and on the other side okay now I'm gonna add some magenta to that or pink. And then when you come out to the edge here, you just don't just bring it on out. Be nice and free with it. This is a time where you can be real free with your strokes because Doodle's hair is all over the place. <laughs> now remember if you wanted to do a normal black and white or all black or all golden you can I just like Artie to be I named him Art because Art is good and so I want him to be as colorful as I possibly can make him Okay, so now before we go down to his body, I want you to do a few things for me here. We're gonna go back and do a little bit of shading, a little bit of push and pull here to give him a little bit more dimension. So if you look underneath his mouth, okay, see where his chin is? I want you to pick up whatever color you made his chin. So I made his chin blue and green. So I'm gonna pick up the blue and in between your little lines here, I want you to hit it and make him darker. Make it darker. But then remember, as you come out, you're gonna get lighter. So it's gonna be the darkest at the lines. And then as you go into the middle of his chin, you're gonna get lighter. So it's gonna be dark and then light. Dark and then light. Dark and then light, dark, and then light, okay? Super important, because then that'll show a lot of dimension. Now, right around his face, too. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna stick with my blue here, <clears throat> right around his face, his nose, his muzzle. Give him a little bit of shadow there. And same thing. 
this side. Popping it out. And that's all you really want to do. You just want to make it pop. You just want to take it a little step further and just make his his uh, body or his his face start to pop off the page. Okay. And then on top of your nose here, you're going to do the same thing. Just a little bit. And then blend it in. Just a solid around his eyes. You can even do a little dark around just the one side of his eye. And again, the color that you choose to do your shading, your shading, your shading with, um, will be totally up to you. There is no right or wrong with what color you choose for shading. It's whatever you like best. So now we're coming up around his eyebrows, just giving them a little bit of a punch. Right in the middle of his forehead, we're just gonna give him a little extra hairs here. He almost looks like Einstein. I always tell him that. Far from Einstein in real life, but looks like it. Okay, so now. I'm going to change colors. I'm going to start to add a little bit of um, more dimension now that I've got it in the face. I'm going to do the ears. So I'm going to switch to a pink. And I'm going to start where I left off with the blue. And I'm just going to go around and just Give it a little bit of an oomph here. Pushing hard on the edge. And then as you come in in the middle, you get lighter. Push hard on the edge. As you come in, get lighter. And what you can even do is in the middle, you can give a little, little push even. So, we're continuing, going around, all the way around his face, adding a little bit of shadow to them. Okay, so now we're going to go onto this side here. Wherever you think it needs it, just give it a little extra uh, push so that you can have a little bit more variety, a little bit more dimension. You can even add some of that blue that we have here and in here. Just 
just be real, real free with it. The freer you are, the better you are. The more stiff you are, the worse you are. And I just experienced that yesterday. I drove myself crazy with uh, something I was drawing. And that's because I was just trying to be so tight and so precise. So I just said, eh. Yeah, it's a piece of paper. And boom. It turned out to be awesome. So, I mean, it's just like we all go through that. You just have to not think about it, not overthink it. And I do that sometimes, way too much. But you live and learn. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going around his nose with my green. Pushing just a little bit harder here. All the way around. And then a little around his eyes. Remember, those of you that um, joined us late, you can always rewind this and pause it and fast forward it um, once I'm done and I post it live. Next week we'll be doing some other fun things. I'm going to be doing some Easter themed projects with you. Um, I'm going to post those later on tomorrow before the weekend so that all of you will have time to see it and if you need some certain supplies or whatever, well, um, it's going to be simple, so don't worry about that, but you'll be able to gather your stuff plenty of time. Okay. All right. So what are we thinking? Are we liking it? Okay, so now I gotta go down here and I gotta color in my my dude. So I'm gonna start with my pink. To tie my pink in with the pink up above. And this time I'm gonna go into do the do the opposite. I'm gonna do pink blue, green. I'm going to go down that way. So, got the pink there. And then I've got the... I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of purple here. Not too much. Just a little bit. Taking my blue all the way up into the back of his neck here. Fill in some of those white spaces with the blue. go in the direction, make it shaggy,
Then what do we do? We're gonna do some shading. So I'm gonna get some of my purple and pink here. Add some dark to that. Outer edges. Do that on both sides. you're feeling that it needs a little oomph. You want it to all be uneven. So you don't want like nice straight lines going saying this is pink and this is purple and this is blue. You want you want it all to just be very again I can't I'm shaggy. I just can't seem to find any other word but shaggy today. And then underneath his collar, especially remember, you want to give him a shadow there. Give him a little shadow there. And then remember, his neck is going to be dark up in through this area here. Okay. So. here and blend them. Very nice dark. There we go. So actually, let me go back. I decided. Where's my book? Where's my book? Is this? Cup on the block, gang. Okay. I'm actually going to go back and make his nose. And the outer edges give it a little bit of a shadow here to make it pop. There we go. Now, if you don't like the pink nose, which I'm not too fond of. So see, I didn't like it, but I didn't ruin it. You can just fix the mistake that you made. Just go back over that, I like that. All right, so he's got a, now he's better. I was bothering me. Now girls, it's a, bull, a girl. You can get her eyelashes if you wanted to, okay? shadow here on his dog tag. And 
then you have to decide what you're going to do in the background. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, let's pause there for a second. How we doing? I'm going to take this camera here and look. What do we think? So he's one shaggy, tie-dyed, crazy looking dog, Artie. Now again, you can do normal colors if you want, or you can do crazy colors like I did. You can also do a background. So how are we doing? Are we liking this? Give me some feedback, those of you watching. What are you thinking? You have any questions for me? No questions, so that's a good thing then. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to imagine what you want to do in the background, okay? So, I'm going to turn this back. Oh, jeez, hold on. Okay. I'm going to turn this back. Push this down a little bit. If you wanted to do stripes, a striped background, diagonal background, you could, and then do a pattern. Um, if you wanted to do some circles in the background, throughout, random. You could background gang really makes you know your finished product pop um and it's really important that you do you do something in the background and not just leave it white you want you want it all to to go together and so even if it's you know like by this point you may be tired and you want to take a break um, and so you say, oh, I'm done. Well, okay, but then maybe like tomorrow, go back and look at it and say, hey, I wanna add a background to that. You know, the ones that you've done with me where you have just a plain white background, go back and, and look at it and say, what can I do to this? What can I, you know, to uh, to add more, more life into what I already have? Because what, what you already have is awesome. And so you just want them to have that finishing touch. It's like that cherry on the top of your banana split or your ice cream sundae. You want that, you want that on there. So I've decided that I'm gonna use my orange, oranges here to make some orange polka dots in the background because I got all cool colors here. And I'm a cool colored girl, I love cool colors. So, I want to do some warm colors in the back as a nice contrast. So I'm going to get my orange because orange um, is the complement of blue. And I want to put that in my background here. Now look, it's, I mean like you just, by doing that little bit, it has really made a difference.
Okay, now we're gonna do those last two upper corner there. You know, and if you um, ever want to take a, a class from me, you know, we don't just use crayons and, and markers. We do a lot of colored pencil. I do a lot of oil pastels. We work a lot with watercolor and a lot with acrylic paint. So, you know, I mean, there's so much more, too, um, that we can do and we can explore. Glazing over. I'm just glazing over. What are you thinking? You liking it? So 
So are we good? Do we like it? Are we happy? <laughs> All right, so I had fun with you today. Um, I will post this picture um, on the web, on the uh, Facebook page. And in the meantime, you send me your pictures of Ari and um, I'll be able to show him um, your portrait of him. And uh, we'll give you some feedback. How's that sound? All right, gang, I had great time with you. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the weather. Just go outside and soak that sun up in your backyard and breathe that fresh air. And don't go any closer to anybody than six feet apart. And stay home and stay safe. All right, loves. I'll see you next week. Bye.